friends, welcome back to Kevara Farm. It's a very beautiful evening here at the farm. And here we are to talk about poultry farming again. So in our last video, we had promised that we were going to learn how to culture the quantity of maize that you would want to stock for a certain period of time. I've come to realize that most of you, especially those who are going to start the project of poultry, you're paying a lot of money to people uh, in order for them to culture for you these things, yeah? Uh, like uh, how to calculate the quantity of maize that is required. Uh, then you're also paying people to, to calculate for you how much you need to feed the birds. So I'm here, I want us to learn how to calculate these things here such that you avoid uh, paying, spending money unnecessarily to people such that they can teach you or they can do for you these things. In today's video, we are going to see how you can calculate it and it is really very simple. You're going to be amazed. So make sure that you watch this video up to the end and please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. So this is an amazing channel here. We learn how to do poultry farming, how to uh, take care of the feeds, how to feed our birds, everything about poultry farming, so it's really an amazing channel. Uh, as you can see, this is timber. I'm very sure some people are going to tell me that this is, uh, uh, the rats are going to hide there, the snakes are going to hide there. Yes, they may hide there, but we need it for, for cooking here at the farm. So this timber, I get it from the site and it really helps us to cut on the cost of firewood, charcoal. Yeah, as you can see, it really helps us a lot when we are doing the cooking at the farm. And then maybe some other thing, because it's been long uh, when we are not making videos about this farm. So I'm just updating you what is happening. As you can see here, we have a feeder a, and a drinker, this one. I introduced croilers here, yeah, just for food. Yeah, uh, they are only 50 birds. Uh, we brought them as day old birds. We brooded them for only two weeks and they are here growing up and we are they are moving around, it's like a free range, as you can see. So this, this is just to help us get food here at the farm. You know sometimes we can get tired of eating the beans here at the farm, so this is going to help us to get food, to get sauce. Yeah, you can see, they are really looking beautiful. And they are growing up, they are now like three and a half weeks. There, yeah, yeah, there you go. So we are going to we are going to calculate. Uh, you know, one of the things that we have talked about over and over again is to make sure that you stock the maize at the farm. It really helps us on cutting the cost of production. Yeah, like right now in my country, Uganda the prices of maize have started increasing. Yeah, they are now raising up. And interesting, and the interesting part of it, the prices of eggs are now dropping. It is going to happen up to December. And uh, as we know right now, uh, the maize is growing up now. It is growing, so it is going to be ready on the market in January and Feb. That is according to the season here in my country. So it is really, for those who have stocked the maize, they are now going to be enjoying because uh, they are now going to be able to make some money. Uh, now that the prices of eggs have dropped and the prices of eggs have increased, they are going to be able to break through. And those who did not plan, at some point you will find that you're just uh, sustaining the business and you're not making any money. So farmers, please let's plan on stocking the maize. Yeah, uh, as we said, it's not only the maize that you will stock. You will stock maize, sunflower, you can even stock the concentrate. So what we are going to discuss here, we are going to see how, if you want to stock, let's say maize, how much maize can you be able to stock? Uh, that can take you from one season up to the other season yeah so 
For example, if we want to stock the maize, this is what we consider. You look through your feeding formula, and then you see the quantity of uh, that ingredient that you want to stock. And for our case here, we want to stock the maize. For example, if your feeding formula is as follows, um, let's say concentrate. You're putting in 250 kilograms and then maize. You're putting it, uh, let's say, uh, 500 kilograms and then brand uh, you put in 250 kilograms uh, this is already one ton yeah this is 1000 kilograms I'm giving this as an example this is just an example, assuming this is your feeding formula. I'm sure for all of us who have birds, we have a feeding formula that is directing us, that is guiding us. And here, if at all you have mature birds which are already laying. So let's say if you have 1,000 birds, you have 1,000 birds. And then this bird, if you have Issa Brown, as we know, Issa Brown feeds 120 grams. For example, me here, I have Issa Brown, which, which I feed 120 grams per day. So if you have other breeds, for example, if you have Boverman, it feeds around 115 grams. If you have Loman Brown, it's uh, from 110 to 115. So depending on the the breed you have and then how much you're feeding so let's say you have isa brown and you're feeding 120 grams and your buds are mature so it means if you have uh, it will be 120 grams times 1000 buds uh, times 1000 buds which you have here and then you divide by 1,000 in order to turn the grams, these are grams, in order to turn these grams into kilograms. So if you cancel, it means that you feed 120 kilograms every day. So if you feed 120 kilograms every day, uh, if you feed 120 kilograms every day, if you have calculated and then you see from one season up to the other, those are six, six months. So if you, want to co uh, if you want to store maize for six months, you will need to calculate this is 120 grams that you feed your bird, 20 kilograms, sorry, that you feed to your birds daily times 30 days. Then what you get here, you multiply it by six. So six, these are a uh, number of months. So six, these are, the, it's a number of months that you want to store, yeah? So you need maize for six months. It will be 120 kilograms that you feed your birds every day times 30 days. Yeah, we know in a month we have 30 days. So what you get, you multiply it into six. So this is going to give us a uh, uh, 21 and 600 kilograms so kilograms so these are 21 tons make sure that you understand what I'm calculating here it is really going to help us uh, in managing our farms it is going to help save us from buying uh, too much food that is going to waste that can actually go to waste and then you find that you have wasted money this 21 tons it consists of the feed that is mixed with different ingredients that you're going to, to feed your birds. So this means if you have 1,000 birds and you're feeding 120 grams, that is Issa Brown, it means for six months you're going to feed 21 tons. Yes, 21 tons of the mixed food. So if you want the quantity of maize, you go to your formula here. This is our formula. You go to our formula, which is this one. 
So the quantity of maize is 500. This, this formula, it, it is uh, concentrate 250, maize 500, brand 250, which makes it a ton. So it means in every ton, it consists of, it consists of 500 kilograms of maize. If in only one ton I need 500 kilograms, so how many kilograms of maize do I need in 21 tons of food all together? So it means that you will get this 500 out of 1,000 kilograms. You will get 500 kilograms out of 1,000 kilograms. 500 out of 1,000. Then you multiply by this. Uh, 21. This is the total feed. So if we... So we'll get this 21, 216. We multiply by 50, which is going to give us 10 and then 800, 800 kilograms. This is 10 ton. So it means that you're going to store, you're going to stock 10 tons of maize, which is going to take you for six months. That is what it means. That is how you calculate the quantity that you would want to stock. So if also if you want to stock the sun, uh, if you want to stock the soya bean, you also do the same. So if you want to stock soya bean for one month, you will go into your formula and then you see the quantity of that soya bean and then you calculate like what you have, what we've done here. You're going to come up with the number of kilograms that you need to store for a certain period of time. So it is going to save us a lot. Instead of paying someone to calculate this, and you've seen it is very simple. So those who come to me and you're telling me to calculate for you, this is what I, I do. I don't even take five minutes to come up with the answer. Yeah, so you see you're spending so much money which would have been used to feed the chicken. And if we practice this, we are also going to learn how to calculate this. I hope this information is very useful to us. So if you're new on this channel, I'm called Lillian and this is Kevara Farm. Please subscribe to this channel. We are on our journey to 50k subscribers and then to 100k subscribers. Please, let's reach there before this year ends. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Let me see you in my next video. Take me on your magic river Tell me all your dreams align Sign me up And tell me about the people that you know Who are trying to feel alive Life can get hard so if you need to cry Just come share my pillow And rain